Lately, I've been working hard deep cleaning our office. There's some areas in it that have badly needed organization. <laughs> in this video, I'm gonna show you around my boho, eclectic mountain vibe office and the thought process behind what's in here. I'll also give a little bit of boho history. So when we moved in two years ago, I basically just stashed some things away in places like what you see here, just to get them out of sight. And so now I am going through every corner, every nook and cranny so that I can make the best use of all of the spaces in here. Basically, I'm still spring cleaning. <laughs> this year we returned to year-round homeschooling too. And so I've been going through all the homeschool stuff. We are homeschoolers. We've been homeschooling for 11 years. We decided to return to year-round homeschooling this year for several reasons. One of them is because we wanted to have some more half days where I would have half the day for schooling and the other half of the day to do things like <laughs> clean the house and do a little deep cleaning in some areas that need it and just more hobby time too and special time with the kids. I like how with year-round homeschooling it gives us more time to do those things that need to get done but still gives us time to get the school done that we like to get done each year. Anyways, we start our new curriculum in July. And I have been trying to get some deeper cleaning done before that happens because we also have a whole bunch of family coming through in June. So I'm trying to get the house ready for guests. Since this room may double as a guest room, it's definitely a priority. <laughs> so many stacks of papers plus a lot of curriculum I need to sort through and declutter. There's the dusting and the vacuuming, but the fun part that I have been finishing up the room with is I have also been adding some more boho twists lately. Lately, I have been doing a lot of research into bo bohoism, <laughs> and I've been perfecting colors throughout our home. I have been using the color wheel for this. So three walls in this room are soft white. And the back wall is kind of a royal blue. I decided to use contrasting yellow as the accent color in here. I actually love yellow. I love all colors. I don't have a favorite, like number one color, but I find there are certain times in my life where I'm drawn towards certain colors. I am often drawn towards oranges and yellows and those warmer colors. That's kind of been a reoccurring pattern in my life, but I love the pops of cooler greens and blues here and there too. Okay, I know my boho style is probably not what you're used to seeing when you think boho. You're probably used to seeing a lot of white, a lot of modern boho these days. And I will say that I love that look, but for myself, I really wanted an authentic, genuine, boho look that dated back further. Some people think that the boho look only dates back to the 60s, but it actually goes back much further than that. So this room has a mountain boho vibe. I have this yarn wall tapestry that I made. I use it to cover books. Behind it is a faux fur, and I like that to help hide curriculum. One of the things about boho is adding textures, and I like how both of these add a lot of texture to the room. If you saw my office tour blog post, you might remember that this box up here was not here before. It was actually on the tall wooden bookshelf against the back wall. I just kind of shoved it there when we moved in because I didn't know where else to put it, and I didn't like it there. It didn't really show the box off very well. This box is really special to me. I absolutely love the look of it. This is something you definitely would have found in a true Bohemian's home during the 20s and 30s because it would be repurposed. It's a very old diamond matchbox and I love the vintage vibe and writing down the side. Of course, anything upcycled, remember, is authentic bohemian. So we're using it as a shelf, and I don't know that I'm gonna keep it right here. I think it looks kind of awkward here, but I do like how the light hits it, and I wanted it somewhere where you'd be able to see the writing on the side and where it would be a little more practical in use, which it is here. Okay, <laughs> in 
true hippie fashion. I am all about upcycling, recycling, and just making sure I use things that would be thrown away otherwise. This desk is one of those things. The wood for this desk is repurposed. I really love this desk because my husband made it and it's also walnut. Underneath the desk, we use filing cabinets for the best use of space. We used to have a really small home and this worked better for us there. Filing cabinets hold so much more than a regular desk back in the early 1900s. You would have likely found gypsies traveling with baskets. And I love baskets. <laughs> I use them a lot in my home decor. I love how they're boho, but they're practical too. And these lights, I love them. My husband made them. I asked him to make them for me and he did. He can do anything. <laughs> these are definitely along the industrial lines, but they work. Over here, along the mountain boho theme is a hamper my husband made. We use it for storage. So when you look at the meaning of boho, it's a free spirited look that is favored by artists, musicians, and writers. And if that does not describe our family, <laughs> I don't know what does. <laughs> so here's our art easel. It's one of two. And against this wall, I have some paintings that my oldest son made for me. I asked him to make me some nature drawings when he was around 10, and these are what he made. They're special, very precious to me. If you are new here, you might not know this about me, but I am an herbalist. I got my master's in herbology from the School of Natural Healing over 20 years ago. And I used to work in a health and natural food store. And I also worked in a health clinic at one point in the past too. Don't worry, I still believe in doctors. <laughs> Over here is my herb cabinet, though, and I like to make my own herbal teas. You guys, it is so much more affordable to make your own herbal tea than it is to buy them. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make your own herbal tea, just let me know. I can teach you how. I love bohemian styles, but I am a Christian too, so I guess you could say I'm a Christian hippie. My kids laugh. <laughs> they call me a crippy. Anyways, I have Bible verses stashed here and there and everywhere in our office. And of course, I have plants. I'm actually bringing in more plants as we speak. Our main rooms have become quite the jungle, so I'm bringing in more plants from the main rooms here to the office. My kids are really excited about this. They've been wanting more plants in here for a while. They spend a lot of time in here every day doing their schoolwork. There are books stashed everywhere in this room. Of course, books definitely add to that boho vibe, but the nice thing about that is it's not something that I had to think about doing. It just happened naturally. I guess that's just how it is when you homeschool and you have lots of children. <laughs> that brings me to the reason I love a boho theme most of all. I really don't think there's a better theme for when you have kids, especially when you're homeschooling and have a big family. Rolling with an inviting, cozy, free boho theme is perfect for when you have kids because it allows them to bring in pieces that mean something to them. But it also makes it easy to add pieces that have historical and global ties. The best part about this is it makes it so that you have a home that is kind of like inviting your children to learn even while you're doing other things like making dinner or cleaning the bathroom or working with another child in a subject. Friends, I do hope you have enjoyed this video and hey, I'm taking a poll right now. I want to know more of what you want to see from me. So head on over to my community tab here at YouTube and scroll down and look for the poll that I am taking where you can weigh in and let your voice be heard. Tell me what you want to see more of. 
be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. It helps me out so much. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been enjoyable.